Hello again, happy Monday and happy new year. Current temperatures across the region. In the Concha Valley, we're looking at lower to mid 50s, big country, upper 40s, lower 50s, a few places to name, Anson 49 degrees, Abilene right at 50. Now down towards the Concha Valley, Brady 52, over towards our west, Midland is also 53 degrees. Tonight is gonna be another cold night. We're gonna see most of the viewing area dip below freezing Sonora 26 degrees tonight, Big Springs 28 degrees tonight, Snyder 29 degrees tonight. Here in San Angelo, we'll get to 30 degrees and Abilene will be near freezing at 34 degrees, but we'll start to rebound tomorrow with highs reaching the upper 60s, lower 70s, and mostly sunny skies. And that's going to be the trend for the next couple of days. We're going to see warmer temperatures on tomorrow and Wednesday ahead of a cold front that will push through the viewing area on Wednesday, dropping temperatures yet again by Thursday. And we're looking at the possibility of another hard freeze or two Thursday, Wednesday night and Thursday night. But let's take a look at what's going on. So this is tonight at midnight. We have this high pressure system are forming over southern Texas. That's what's going to help us see that warming going into tomorrow. Then by tomorrow evening, around 6 p.m., when you'll be tuning in to us yet again, we'll have this low pressure system forming in the panhandle, which is going to help us warm up even more on Wednesday with those winds coming from the south bringing warm air to the Concho Valley. Now on Wednesday into Thursday, we're going to see this cold front start to move through the big country and it'll move slowly through the big country and into the Concho Valley Wednesday night into Thursday. And by Thursday, this will be well south of our viewing area and we'll see that drop in temperatures that we saw just a slide ago. And although this is only for the next few days that this will be impacting us, just want to take a look at the trend for next week. We're looking at a low chance of above average temperatures and then a low chance of above average precipitation. So too far out to know for sure what's going on, but it looks like that cold air won't be lasting very long. But in the meantime, we do have some sunny skies for the rest of the week. Once that cold front pushes through, like I said, we'll have two nights of hard freeze level lows before we start to warm back up again. Again, going into the weekend, Saturday will be the warmest day of this week. Highs topping in the mid 70s. Then it looks like another cold front or cold air mass moving into the picture Sunday into Monday because we'll dip it to hard freeze levels yet again Sunday night before we try to warm back up to the mid 50s by this time next week. Back to you, Adriana.